the little oars. They actually quite suit me. Um, um, we have enough time to do business. We operate from nine in the morning to eight at night, um, six days a week. And then on Sundays and public holidays, we allow three hours. We open from nine uh, on a s on a public holiday until one, and on a Sunday, ten until one o'clock. Um, it's more than enough time. Um, I believe in other provinces they've got less time for trading. Um, as the liquor laws have got stricter on clubs, it actually benefits us because uh, I think a lot more people are buying alcohol for pre-drinks and for a new thing that's come is post-drinks. So after closing time they, they manage to, to have post-drinks. So okay, once the bar is closed, you go to someone's house and you just keep on drinking there. Yes, which is a bad idea. Because at least that way the drinking is confined to the bars, but now it spreads out to all over the show. I'm happy with the liquor laws. Um, we have a problem with people that want to drink outside the shop. Uh, we can get into a lot of trouble with people drinking in the shop or outside in their cars. Um, that's our responsibility. And uh, another problem we have is serving drunk people. We're not, it's, it's actually an offence to serve people that are drunk. Other than that, um, I'm happy with the laws. I'm Karabo Mahale. Yeah, I think the liquor law, the idea behind it, I can, I can understand, but I understand that like, some people get over it because on during the week and stuff, if you want to go out, you can't really get anything. But I suppose it's better that people think about, you know, the amount of alcohol and what time they're drinking. My name is Wengsen Ngabecha. I'm a BA student, third year. I don't drink. Well, I think the liquor laws are, are right, especially rodents. Students, like, they drink a lot. Yeah, I think it's, it's okay. It's fine with me. Yeah. Uh, hi, my name is Clive. Clive Bartlett from Gramstown Municipality. I work in Gramstown. Uh, the liquor license story I'm not really chuffed with. I think the liquor license should be thinking properly of but alcohol. We buy alcohol to keep the bottle stores going. If we don't buy from bottle stores, bottle stores will close. How do we get liquor if bottle stores are closing down? I think it's a bit bad on the law. The law should be coming down a bit. And let us people who enjoy our liquor have our liquor. And let us unbehave if we want to unbehave. But we still get arrested. But that's our problem, not the liquor people's problem. I think it's quite wrong. We should all stand up and say to the legalizers people to stop the no this nonsense of this is very really wrong.